Could you give advice to young people today in high school or college that are trying to pave their life story, whether it's in science or elsewhere, how they can have a career they can be proud of or a life they can be proud of? Advice. Boy, it's dangerous to give advice because things change so fast. But uh, one central thing I can say, moving up uh, and, and through academia and whatnot, you will be surrounded by really smart people. And what you need to do is be very careful at distinguishing specific critique versus kind of meta um, meta advice. And what I mean by that is if, if somebody really smart and successful and uh, obviously uh, competent is giving you specific um, critiques on what you've done, it, that, that's gold. That's an opportunity to hone your craft, to get better at what you're doing, to learn, uh, to find your mistakes. Like, that's great. If they are telling you what you ought to be uh, studying, how you ought to approach things, what is the right way to think about things, you should probably ignore most of that. And the reason I make that distinction is that a lot of really um, uh, really successful uh, people are very well calibrated on their own ideas and they on, in their own field and their own you know sort of uh, area, and they know exactly what works and what doesn't and what's good and what's bad. But they're not calibrated on your ideas. And so, so uh, the things they will, they will say, oh, you know, this is a dumb idea. Don't do this and you shouldn't do that. That stuff is generally uh, worse, than, worse than useless. It can be very, very um, uh, demoralizing and, 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 and really limiting. And so, so what I say to people is read very broadly, work really hard, know what you're talking about, take all specific criticism as, a, as, a, um, as an opportunity to improve what you're doing and then completely ignore everything else. Because I, I, I just tell you from like from from my own experience, um, most of what I consider to be interesting and useful things that we've done, very smart people have said this is a terrible idea. Don't 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 do that. Don't you know? Just um, yeah. I think I think we we just don't know. We we have no idea beyond beyond our own. Like at best, we know what we ought to be doing. We very rarely know what anybody else should be doing. Yeah, and their ideas their perspective has been also calibrated, not just on their field and specific situation, but also on a state of that field at a particular time in the past. Yeah. So there's not many people in this world that are able to achieve revolutionary success multiple times in their life. So whenever you say somebody very smart, usually what that means is somebody who's smart, who achieved the success at a certain point in their life, and people often get stuck in that place where they found success. To be constantly challenging your worldview is a very difficult thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I, and also at the same time, probably if a lot of people tell, that's the weird thing about life. If a lot of people tell you that something is stupid or is not gonna work, that either means it's stupid, it's not gonna work, or it's actually a great opportunity to do something new. And you don't know which one it is. And it's probably equally likely to be either. If not, Well, I don't know, the probabilities. Um, depends how lucky you are, depends how brilliant you are. But you don't know, and so you can't take that advice no. as actual data. Yeah, you have to. Um, you have to, and this is this is kind of hard and fuzzy, like hard to describe and, and fuzzy. But I, I'm uh, a firm believer that you have to uh, build up your own intuition. So over time, right, you have to take your own risks that seem like they make sense to you, and then learn from that and build up so that you can trust your own gut about what's a good idea, even when, and then sometimes you'll make mistakes and it'll turn out to be a dead end and that's fine. That's, that's science. But, but, um, you know, what I, uh, tell my students is, is, uh, life is hard and science is, is, is hard and you're going to sweat and bleed and everything. And you should be doing that for, uh, ideas that, that, that really fire you up inside and, and, um, you know, and, and, and really don't let, uh, Kind of the uh, the the common denominator of of um, standardized uh, approaches to things uh, slow you down.